the do's and don'ts of drawing long scraggly fur. I like to say scraggly, it's more just very fuzzy or just long, like we're looking fur. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So for this first one, don't draw with little definition. And what I mean by this is by not applying enough colors and not enough darks and lights, so highlights and shadows. If you're not applying enough of that with this kind of thick, fuzzy fur, then you're not going to see very much definition um, in terms of the facial features, where the head and neck go. So something like this, um, for this cat in particular, what I would have done better was to apply a little bit more of a darker gray color. You do want to apply a light color over the first few layers. So what this will do is will help blend all those layers together and it'll create this beautiful blending effect that still leaves room for the highlights. That's really important is to leave room for the highlights and um, draw the darks a little bit darker. That's something that I should have done in this portrait and I didn't. The next portrait is of a scraggly looking dog. So you do want to use a sharp point for details. Always keep your pencil sharp. You wanna make sure that your details are very in line with the sharp color pencil. And how you do this is through just lots of patience, like I always say, leave room for the highlights, wait until you've built up enough layers, come back over the highlights using a very, very light color pencil. That is something that to be aware of. And you can kind of see in the right hand side, as an example here, I'm using a light, kind of a cool gray color. You do want to use lighter colors when it comes to drawing in the highlighted areas as well so that you can build up the, the definition a little bit better by doing that. And then you can use a black color pencil to darken up the rest of the features, especially in the areas right around the nose. It's gonna be a little bit like the darker features coming out because of the shadows and just because it's a little bit thicker fur in that area. So be mindful of that. And you definitely wanna draw long strokes with this kind of fur. Don't underestimate the power of highlights. So like I keep saying, use those light colors and build them up with pressure and the um, color as well. So you can see on the right hand side that there are still a little bit of highlighted um, straggly fur and how I achieved that was through building up those layers using a lighter color pencil at first, using longer strokes and then building up the layers with darker colors and darker pressure. Then we go down to the bottom of the chest area and this is just building up the same way using light light pressure. See I am using a lot uh, darker color pencil but I'm using very light pressure and I'm leaving room for the highlights. Definitely want to leave room for the highlights as you can see I've definitely done that and you do want to be aware of the shadow side of the body and the other side that has the light shining on, on them. So that will really help with adding more definition, more depth, more realism. So for this ear, you can see how I'm building up that ear and what you do want to do is pay attention to the direction of the fur. Definitely want to pay attention to that. And you can really see how the direction of the fur really does create a realistic portrait, especially with this one where you can see there's lots of fur coming up and out. And there's also lots of fur coming down, especially with the ear, it's coming down. And I'm using a slice tool to create the highlighted effects. It can show a little bit more direction as to where the fur is going. 
and you can see that the direction of the fur on the top of the nose is the same thing where it's going up and out and up and out on the other side. You do want to use cool tones in the highlighted areas. This creates this beautiful effect of almost of a um, 3D effect. When you use a very, very, very pale blue, you can even use a white. White still works. I like to um, tell everybody to use white for burnishing on top or using them in the highlights. And what that does is it really helps to blend everything together. And sometimes the portrait may be a little bit too warm tone. So you want to add a little bit of blue in the highlights and that'll help balance all that together. You could see on the right hand side the same thing that I did, leave room for the highlights. Use that cool gray color to start to add up, build up those layers using those long strokes. There's definitely a lot of long pieces of fur, so you wanna be aware of that. And not all portraits are going to have long fur, so this one, this video in particular, is about that long straggly fur. And now you can see in the body that I did the same exact thing. I left room for the highlights and I'm also using this beautiful creamy, I think it's like a French gray color in the Karen Dash Luminance. And it really adds, it ties into all of the uh, rest of the body there because there's gonna be a darker side and there's gonna be a lighter side. Attuning to that from the picture that you see, will really make a huge difference, huge difference. You do want to use a white color pencil to burnish. Now I did say that previously, and now you can see the effects of it. Now I'm using a Karen Dash, I think it is the Aquarels. This one is, you can use that, or you can just use a white color pencil, it doesn't matter. But you can really see that it does help to tie in the rest of the body and it blends really well. Then you can use a slice tool on top of that to show even more direction with the fur. Because with long scraggly fur, the direction just goes everywhere like, like I said before. and. Um, adding the slice tool kind of adds this nice effect that makes it looks make it look a little bit more realistic instead of um, everything being too painted on if that makes sense So I really hope that this video has helped you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and please like and subscribe. If you are interested in learning to draw, sign up for the color pencil package where you will get access to seven mini wildlife portrait workshops, a fundamentals course, and much more. Link to sign up will be in the description below.